Welcome to the Customer Service University. This 12-part series equips CX professionals with the insights to excel in the industry. Join us as we unlock the secrets to becoming a leader in customer experience with guidance from top experts. Your journey to the top begins now. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the Customer Service University. We have put together this 12-part series to educate everyone in the industry about the modern call center. There are so many questions about what it takes to be a customer experience professional within this industry. There's so many different aspects we have to tackle from AI to security, to the tools, to the training, to the leadership. I have just thought about all these different aspects. And so we are gonna bring you 12 courses that will teach you everything you need to know. And to kick off this series, I've asked my friend Jim Ayub from ETech Global Services to just to set the stage in lesson one to help us talk about new techniques in quality monitoring. Jim, thank you for being our customer service university. Thank you so much for having me, Dennis. I'm so excited about this. All right, so let's get into it for the audience. How has data collection and monitoring changed in the call center recently? Yeah, it's, it's a simple answer. The approach just evolved. This is no different than when we talked about big data. However, with this, it allows for a more comprehensive analysis of those interactions across multiple channels. The big data lets you get a deeper understanding of customer behavior patterns, which actually lead to more effective quality interactions, and last but not least, a more personalized customer experience. Okay, so big data, but here's the other thing everybody's talking about, Jim, AI. Tell me about how AI and machine learning are getting integrated into monitoring quality and what's the benefit? Yeah, it's, I mean, AI and machine learning, it's just revolutionized quality monitoring because it enables predictive analytics. It actually helps you automate some of those routine tasks and it provides real-time guidance to agents. These technologies not only improved accuracy in the sentiment analysis, it also increased the efficiency in handling all those interactions. Okay, so we're talking about real-time. I know that before we used to do this post-call analysis, we used to be looking back a little. Of course, now in the modern call center, we're getting real-time feedback. And can you talk about how this Real-time analysis provides immediate feedback and rapid response to customer needs. Yeah, so real-time data is crucial if you want to give immediate feedback or a response to the customer needs. See, like in the telco industry, real-time insights allows for adjusting service tactics during the launch of a new product or something that's going to actually reduce the wait times and improving those satisfaction scores. Earlier, you talked about predictive analytics. Can you talk about the use of predictive analytics and quality monitoring and how does this change the way companies approach CX? Yeah, great question. So predictive, you know, when you talk about predictive analytics, it allows companies to anticipate the customer issues and needs before it becomes a problem, right? So companies can tailor more proactive services by understanding likely customer pathways and enhancing that satisfaction and the loyalty of the customer. Okay. And let's talk about customer feedback integration with all of this. What are the, the best systems to capture and monitor this feedback? Yeah, so there's, a, there's several out there, but most of the modern systems integrate real-time feedback mechanisms, just like uh, an instant survey, for an example monitoring the social media, what are people saying online, which actually provides those insights into that customer satisfaction across multiple channels. And these tools help companies adjust the strategy promptly to align better with those expectations of the customer. All right, so we've talked about big data, we've talked about AI, we've talked about predictive analytics, we've talked about real time, we're living in the present now using this data and these high speed tools and technologies, which it's so important that everybody understands that this is the world we're in in the call center. 
but it also impacts training and performance. I think what we are starting to see and we need to know more about, Jim, is how all of this is affecting our agents. So what is the impact to the employee training and performance evaluation of contact centers? How does all this play together? Absolutely. I mean, think about it. The agency is your first line of defense. Quality monitoring has become a cornerstone for this training and performance evaluation. See, providing data-driven methodology for coaching and development is critical. It not only helps identify specific areas where the agent can improve, leading to that training programs, it ultimately enhances the quality of those agents who are the front line of your customer. So agents are getting better. AI is here. I know that the leading companies like yourself are really at the forefront. You're doing all of this stuff already, but there are a lot of call centers out there that are just figuring out how to put these things together and they're facing some challenges. Can you talk about some of the challenges that are out there and how to avoid them as people move into the modern call center? Yeah, absolutely. We've, we've had our challenges for sure. I mean, most of the common challenges is really the integration into the existing systems. And then of course you got data privacy concerns. And probably the biggest one is most people, staff, they're resistant to change, right? Because some of us are set in our ways. Overcoming these challenges requires clear communication of the benefits of why you're doing it. It's not to ding you for what you're doing wrong, it's to make you better. Ensuring all your compliance, your data protection regulations, and the most important takeaway I would tell you is providing comprehensive training to all the users. And when you say comprehensive training to all the users, that's really about educating the top of the corporation about the modern call center, which mm -hmm. I hope, shameless plug for this customer service university, everybody watches it because we're gonna educate every level of the organization. But it's also about getting that all the way to the front lines for adoption. So I do think that that's why we're all putting this together. My last question is, certainly knowledge is power educating the entire organization, but we also need to be prepared for the future. What happens next? I get all this stuff, what should I be preparing for in the future? Yeah, great question. So the future of quality monitoring is gonna see a bigger usage of not only artificial intelligence and machine learning, natural language processing. I think you're gonna see biometrics and emotion detection making a big play in the upcoming years. I also believe augmented and virtual reality is gonna be big. I think internet of things with all these devices being connected, how do I take all that data? And last but not least, I think the predictive analytics is gonna be a bigger play because you can predict what's gonna happen. And I think that's really what the future is gonna look like. Awesome. Jim, thank you so much. You know, I'm so grateful that I have an expert who is living, breathing and producing the solutions for the Modern Call Center on our first episode of Customer Service University audience. Next week, we'll be talking about unlocking customer insights with AI. Jim, thank you so much for being here today. And it's just been wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much, Dennis. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us for this Customer Service University lesson. Discover how QEVAL can enhance your operations with real-time analytics, predictive insights, and comprehensive quality management. Visit qevalpro.com learn to connect with our experts and exclusive support.